dark. I build neat stuff. I got a great girl. And occasionally, save the world. So why can't I sleep? The long-awaited action flick Iron Man 3 has finally arrived. It takes place after the events from the first two movies and the Avengers. An interesting aspect is that it was shot with a technique called 4DX, which gives extra environmental effects like smells, vibrating chairs, and changes in the humidity. The only downside is that there's only one theater that actually supports it, and it's located in Japan. For this third movie, Robert Downey Jr. crawls into the skin of billionaire Tony Stark once again, only this time his character has really hit rock bottom. The nice thing about uh, Tony Stark is that um, he doesn't even take his own arc that seriously because he's, uh, he's, he's falls so far from where he was, but he needed to. So I think people uh, relate to that life lessons part of it, you know? You elected me on a single platform. I will defend this country at all costs. The Mandarin is this movie's villain, played by Ben Kingsley. He appears to be a classic bad guy who wants to cause mayhem just for his own entertainment, but according to Sir Ben, there's much more to him than that. I think the rule when one is approaching what is, what is rather lazily called the bad guy um, is that, uh, that the actor has to accept that those characters who are the polar end of the film, the kind of anchor, a dark anchor of the film, they have a sense of righteousness um, that actually normal good people don't have. Normal good people are really quite modest about themselves and rather self-deprecating, like our hero and heroine are. You don't know who I am. Besides Ben Kingsley, there's another new face as Guy Pearce plays the mysterious Aldrich Killian. Well, Killian's an interesting character because he's somebody who was brought into this world with a number of disabilities, um, primarily physical disabilities. And so there's a real driving force to change who he is, to really kind of get out there and, 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 and become a different person. And so we find him at the start of the film you know, it's like a flashback and we sort of see the, the ambitious, uh, he's just kind of almost annoying. What are you going to do about these attacks? The whole world's gonna be watching. The question, where is Tony Stark? Things are different now. I have to protect the one thing that I can't live without. That's you. When we find Pepper in Iron Man 3, I think she and Tony are very much in a relationship. They're living together. She's moved into his house in Malibu and she's still running Stark Industries. Um, so their lives are very intertwined and there's a lot of comfort between them now. Besides Tony Stark and his girlfriend Pepper Potts, there's more characters we know from the first two movies. Like Don Cheadle as James Rhodes and Jon Favreau as Happy Hogan. The latter actually directed Iron Man 1 and 2, but now the hot seat is taken by Shane Black, who's combined all his favorite movie elements for this new action fest. The structure of a thriller, the bigness of a comic book action movie, coupled with the reality and the sophisticated sort of chill of uh, a, a villain that, that's frightening in today's world. I'm going to offer the choice. Do you want an empty life or a meaningful death? 